Okay, hey guys, it's Kat. I look like a literal shit today. My makeup is not done. I mean, it is, but not well. My hair is all over the place. I don't know what this shirt is. This needs to be re-dyed. I don't even know. But this video, I had to make it as a stress relief because something happened today when I was in the drugstore and it pissed me off so much. Like, it was a small little thing, but I get pissed off easily. So I'm just gonna make this video about it to get it off my chest. This is not meant to be like a clickbaity type of video, but I'm just gonna tell how I saw things. So let's just get into it. So I am going on vacation for two weeks and I'm leaving tomorrow. Today is August 1st and I'm leaving tomorrow. So um, there were a whole bunch of things that we needed to get, like little toiletries and things like that because we're gonna be staying in a cabin. So we had to, my mom, my mom and I, we got in the car and we went to Rite Aid. And, um, I'm not gonna say which Rite Aid it was, but if anybody who lives in this area knows which Rite Aid I'm talking about, um, it's by Huntington Bank. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say, like, where, what street it's on, but it's by a bank. So my mom and I, we had to go to the bank and get a whole bunch of toiletries and stuff like that. We had to go to the grocery store and get some stuff to last me for, like, just today and tomorrow morning, breakfast and things like that. So we go to the bank and then we pull into the Rite Aid parking lot and we're just like, okay, well, you go get the shaving cream and the deodorant and I'm gonna get like a card for grandma. My mom is telling me all this. She's like, I'm gonna get a card for grandma and um, cause like my grandma's birthday is around this time. That's why we're going to go visit. Um, she's just like, I'm, I'm gonna go get a birthday card for grandma. You go get the toiletries, like the shaving cream and the deodorant and uh, you can like look at makeup or whatever and I'll find you in the shampoo aisle cause I need to get shampoo. And I was like, okay, I'll go do that. So there's this lady that's working there. I've never seen her before. I go to this Rite Aid all the time, and most of the time, the same employees are always working there. And they're very nice ladies. There was, there's a guy that works there, and I only see him occasionally now. I might have changed his shift or something. I used to see him there all the time, but I rarely see him now. So it's always the same ladies who have worked there for the past few months that I see there all the time. But apparently, this was either a new employee or I just haven't seen her before. There was this lady. She was a tall woman. A, she was a big woman. I don't want to say fat because people are sensitive to that word. But she was she was big and she was tall. She was about middle aged, like 50s, 60s, maybe like you know like because she had gray hair. She had like like wavy gray hair that went like down to here. But, um, I don't even, I couldn't even pinpoint how old she was. But I've never, I'd never seen her in the store before. So I'm looking around at things, and I'm, I gathered all the things that my mother wanted me to get. I had the shaving cream deodorant, um, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just holding on to it, and I walked into the makeup section because I, I like makeup, obviously. But I don't want to go and spend $50 on, oh, this is a tattoo by the way, not self-harm. I'm not gonna go to Sephora and spend $50 on NARS foundation when I can get some Maybelline foundation that's just as good for $12. So I'm not gonna do that. So I buy the majority of my makeup at the drugstore. So yeah. I go over to the makeup section and anybody who knows me knows I really, really like nail polish. I used to have, I used to get acrylic nails all the time and I used to have fake nails. And they're just too much of a hassle to keep up with, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna grow my nails out. And this is about, these two have been bitten off multiple times, so they're just growing back. But these two have never been bitten in the past two months, so, and my thumbnails haven't either, so they're quite long. I used to have a really, really horrible habit of biting my nails, so I started uh, painting them all different colors. I have like a different color on my nails every two weeks, and I try to find the best nail polishes to do that, and I give myself a manicure so that um, I won't have the urge to bite my nails because I don't want to mess it up, obviously. So, painting my nails is motivation to not bite my nails. So I like nail polish. So, I'm in the makeup section, I'm looking at things, and I'm looking at the nail polish section. Now, the nail polish section in this Rite Aid, there's a big wall right here, like let's say this is the wall and it's got all the polishes on it. How much do you want to bet this is going to come up as a thumbnail and people are going to think I'm like cutting myself, but I don't do that shit no more. But on the shelf right here, it's got like the rows of polishes. There's three rows, all the same brand. And I'm just looking at them. And then there's a little wall thing that comes out to about here. 
So you can only see if you actually turn around and look down the aisle to people you can't really see from far away. And so this lady is um, working in, like the wall is right here and then there's another section that's like over here. She's working in like that kind of section and there's a mirror right near it. So she can look in the mirror and then she can see what I'm doing over in that aisle. So she's working in her little section, you know, working with the DVDs and the CDs or whatever was in that section. and. I'm looking at the nail polishes and I picked up this one like this is what I did so I'm looking at this one I picked it up it was red obviously I didn't get it because of the situation but um it was red and it was Essie brand and I'm looking at it and I'm just like okay this is cool how much is this what color is it I'm just generally looking over the packaging and then I they're, they're, they've started to wrap these little s stickers around the top let it like like the barcode of course makes it go off but there's also these little stickers that they wrap around the top that are really thick and they end up looking something like this like the ends stick out like this right so I'm looking at the bottle and I start fidgeting with the sticker I'm just fidgeting with it I'm not trying to pick it off I'm just like running my hands over it just touching it and this lady sees me in this mirror fidgeting with the sticker and looking over the bottle and I look in the mirror and she is I can see her as well because of this mirror and she is staring directly at me like and of course when somebody stares at you like that for that long you get really uncomfortable and it shows on your face because that's what humans do so she's looking at me like this and I'm getting uncomfortable because she's staring at me so my face turns white and I kinda like look at the bottle one more time and then I look at her look back at the bottle and then put it back on the shelf she was making me uncomfortable because she was staring at me, people. Like, she should have figured that out. So I walk down to the end of the aisle, and I'm like, okay, there's more nail polishes and foundation brushes and things over here, so I'm just gonna walk down to this end of the aisle. So, like, because if, if you walk down far enough, she couldn't see me. Like, I didn't want her staring at me anymore. It was making me uncomfortable. So I walk down to the end of the, uh, end of the aisle, and I'm looking at more stuff. I'm just like, yay. And then I, I put it back. And then I see that she had moved from the area that she was in and I was like, okay, maybe I can go back over to the nail bar that I was looking at and maybe see if I can find any other colors without being stared at. So I go over there and I get down like on like my knees, not on my knees, but I was like squatting because there was a color on the bottom that I wanted to look at. So I'm looking at it and I'm just like, okay, like exactly what I was doing before. Okay, this is kind of a cool color. How much is this? Okay, that's cool <clears throat> and I decided that I maybe wanted it so I stood up and I was going to go like stand up go find my mom and then ask her like hey can I get this it's four dollars can I get this like it's a really pretty color I don't have this yet that's what I was planning to do so I have this bottle of nail polish and I stand up and anybody who knows me knows that I have a bad knee I injured it um, while playing volleyball like over a year ago anybody who actually knows me and is my friends remembered the, was at the game where I injured my knee this badly but I dislocated it or something like that so now every time I kneel down or stand up it tends to crack so it doesn't hurt me it just sounds weird and the sound sometimes startles me so I'm getting down I got down real low and I push myself to stand up I have this bottle of nail polish in my hand I push down on my knee I stand up and as I stand up my knee cracks and I drop the bottle and I'm like Oh shit, okay, I hope it didn't break. Like, these things are glass, obviously. I was like, okay, I hope it didn't break. That sound was really loud. Like, I hope it didn't break, but you know what? I bend down so quickly to pick it up. Because, like, it's embarrassing when you drop something in the store, like, everybody's staring at you, you know? I bend down to pick it up. I look around just to be sure there's nobody else in the aisle. Just like, okay, I hope nobody saw that. And I bend down and I pick it up. It wasn't in slow motion or anything. I bend down to pick it up, it was like a swift, like, okay, I just dropped something, I'm gonna pick it back up. And in that short amount of time, this woman, I bend down to pick it up, and as I'm coming back up, she's standing next to me. Now in this aisle, there was a supply cart. Like, you know like when you go to the grocery store, in the makeup section or the drugstore, and there's those carts full of makeup products that haven't been put on the shelves yet. Next to the nail bar that I was at, there was a supply cart full of that stuff and I was just looking at it like well it's in here but I 
I wasn't, I wasn't like reaching in there like this. I, was, I just like looked over it and went back to what I was doing. Drop the bottle of nail polish and I look around, make sure nobody saw that because that was embarrassing. I lean down and I pick it up in one swift motion. And in that short amount of time, this woman ends up right next to me at that supply cart going through it. And she is staring directly <coughs> at me the whole time, like acting like she's going through the supply cart, but she's like watching me still. And I'm like, bitch, can I help you? I didn't say that, obviously, but I was thinking it and I was like, hey. Okay. So I decide, okay, you know what? I don't need this nail polish. I'm not gonna put it back on the shelf and make myself look even more suspicious than I already do to this woman. I'm just gonna go up and ask my mother if I can get it and then discard it somewhere else. Now my mother uh, was heading towards the area that I was at because the shampoo aisle was right next to the makeup aisle and she wanted to buy a bottle of shampoo. So she's like walking around and she's calling my name. She's like, Cat, Cat, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm right here. I run past this woman so quick and I'm like, Hey mom, do you like this color? Can I get this color? And she's looking at me, she's like, don't you already have a color like that? Like blah, 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 blah. And as she's doing this, this woman walks around me. There was another employee in an aisle that was real, like across from where my mom and I were standing. They were pretty close to us. She leans over to this employee and she's like, hey, come here. <laughs> I don't want to make any assumptions of what she was whispering about, but she was looking in my direction when she was whispering. So I'm sure she was telling the other employee, keep it on her, she's stealing shit. And I'm just like, so my mom said, my mom said, okay, maybe just hold on to it and we'll see how much it is when we go to checkout. And I said, okay. So as we get into the shampoo aisle, we're looking at stuff and this lady has disappeared into some other vicinity in the grocery store, not the grocery store, the drugstore, wherever we were. She's disappeared into some other aisle or whatever. So I lean over to my mom and I'm like, there was this lady who was like looking at me like I was gonna steal stuff. Like the only reason why I asked you if I could get the nail polish was to make it look like, like we were gonna buy it, like I wasn't stealing it. So like, just go with it. My mom's like, oh, that's awful, but oh, okay, I understand, I understand. Now, this lady, um, she moved. My mom and I are still looking at shampoo. We're discussing, like, what kind of shampoo would be the best for her because she u uses Oreo Everpure on her hair. So we're, like, discussing which one is best. And we're in this aisle. The aisle is here. Here's us in the aisle. And then there's another aisle right here. And there's a wall right here. This woman was standing against this wall like a security guard, like this. Just watching me and my mom. And I'm just like, okay, like, can you go away, please? And then after a little while, she got called somewhere else and she disappeared. Now I was like, okay, maybe she didn't think I was stealing. Maybe she's just doing her job. Like, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me anymore. So I thought she had disappeared. So I take the nail polish. And let's say this is a bottle of shampoo right here. And I, there were two bottles of shampoo right here. Let's say there was another one right here. And I put it behind the two. I did it in one swift, just put it there. And my mom and I are still talking about shampoo and things. And I decide to wander down to the hair dye section of the aisle because I have to keep up with this hair and I'm not going to the salon to get it done. I buy drugstore dye. My apologies, I'm getting over a cold. But I go down to the hair dye section of the aisle and I'm like looking. And as I'm looking, this woman, this is what threw me off the most. I had high hopes. I thought that this woman was maybe just doing her job after she disappeared and went somewhere else after that. I thought that she was just doing her job. Maybe she was, was supposed to organize the makeup stuff. Maybe she didn't think I was stealing. I don't know. Maybe she was just fascinated by my hair. I don't know. That's what, like, my thoughts were, like, gathering themselves once again, and I'm like, okay, maybe it was all just a coincidence, maybe that's, maybe she has resting bitch face, I don't know. But this was what confirmed my suspicions. When I put the nail polish back behind the shampoo, this woman had disappeared into a different section of the store. I'm not sure where she went, but she was not within my line of vision. I could not see her, therefore she could not see me. I, my mother is here, and I am here, and the shampoo aisle where the nail polish is is between the two of us. And suddenly, this woman, I didn't even see her coming, she runs down the aisle, reaches behind the shampoo, grabs the nail polish, and walks away. And I'm just like, My mother was there too, my mother saw it and surprised she didn't say anything, but if you really think I'm stealing something and you think there's a problem, say it to my face, like, 
I'm a teenager, you're an adult, and you obviously think you have some form of authority over me. I understand, like, you're not gonna say it to another grown woman because you guys are, like, equal in age, level of authority, whatever, but I am a teenager. If you think I am stealing, say it to my face and say that there is a problem. Do not do all the things that you just did. So my mom was picking up a, a prescription for somebody, um, not gonna say who it was, but my mom was picking up a prescription for somebody, um, and she was, we were at the prescription counter and I had all my stuff and she's like, damn it, we forgot razor blades. Would you run back and go get razor blades? And I'm like, no, I don't want that lady seeing me. She makes me uncomfortable. She's like, okay, that's fine. I understand. And we figured it out. We got the prescription and we made it out of the store. Okay. I think what pissed me off the most was one, the thing with the nail polish. But as we were walking out of the store, the little sensor thing that you walk through, those like the two bars. It sometimes goes off because it's sensitive to people's cell phones. It's just this Rite Aid that has this problem that I've encountered. But sometimes it goes off because of people's cell phones. I don't know why, it just does. So my mom and I picked up a few things. The lady at the cashier was one of the nice people that works there, so she was nice to us. And then as we were leaving, the sensor thing went off because of my cell phone. And this woman is working, this, the mean lady is working in the area that's, uh, like by the door and the sensor thing goes off and she just looks at me gives me the dirtiest look I've ever gotten from anybody in my entire life like like dirtier than the looks that I get when I walk into a conservative church like I can't even recreate it it was <laughs> so then my mother and I talked about it in the car and we turned it into a joke but it still pissed me off so lady my mom and I have nicknamed you Pam because you look like your name would be Pam or Peggy or Maggie or some old fashioned shit like that. If you're watching this video, I wasn't stealing shit. I wasn't trying to steal anything, but you need to get your head straight. And if there's a problem, tell me. So, okay, my night. Night. Well, that was just my little story time for today. If you uh, like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, have a good day or night or whatever.